Yo, what's going on? I know some people haven't heard that for a very long time. I haven't actually recorded a video on my main channel using voice commentary in a very, very long time. However, today is a day I've been dreading. Um, with the conclusion of Light GW a few days ago, it's now time for me to do the sixth round of GW, which is called Opening Your Freaking Boxes. So I have around 2 million 300,013k. Uh, I do have a little bit extra in the loot. Funny enough, if you didn't know, you have to get a, a limit. So I can't pick up all the tokens, unfortunately. So I'm gonna have to clear out all my tokens and then pick them all up. So that's gonna be very fun. Um, if you're wondering why I did this during Light GW, uh, I don't think I'll have as much time in the future. Um, playing GW that is so I thought before I go and go like full like casual mode that I'll at least try to play as much GW if I can this one unfortunately my light is really not the greatest I'm missing quite a bit of weapons I don't have double Edens not Edens um, double no arc so it was very hard for me because I was running double Zeus because lol I don't have buffs either so don't have Luo either so yeah don't have Zahal Malina either. <laughs> so you can probably get the idea that DW is very hard. Even though I did perform okay-ish, I could have did much better had I had more um, more optimal gear. <laughs> uh, but you know, in this game, you just gotta work with what you got. You're not gonna have everything. So unless you made the Ellie, sometimes you just gotta improvise. So it, it was fun. Um, I just, yeah. I thought I'll talk over this because it's going to be a very long, long session here. So let that be known. I'm not the greatest at op opening boxes. Yes, there's a skill when it comes to opening boxes. Um, I kind of forget how to do it right. I think you got to go like to the second page for it to look at that drop. God, it takes so long to load. I think you got to look at the drop and then from this page, after this page, I think you just hit reset and it should be faster. Yeah, something like this. Um, but yeah, I haven't really done this too often because I really don't go ham any type of events. Normally I'm more, you know, I'm more casual with it because it's time consuming. <laughs> um, especially when it comes to story events, I just don't have tenacity to want to sit there and farm these events all day. I know some people really do enjoy it, especially if you're more new into the game. Um, you have more, I guess, more drive to want to do this, but I've been playing this game for six years now. So my ability to want to sit here for the next 20, 30 minutes opening boxes all day is not the highest. Not to mention, if you notice, I do not have what we would call good ping. Even though some people really feel like I have good ping, I'm an East Coast player. <laughs> um, East Coast does not have good ping. I'm sorry to tell people that, but usually if I load faster than you, it just means your computer is worse than mine. Um, I do have a 3080, so it usually comes down to computer specs. If you're loading slower than me, but have better ping, it just says your computer is not as strong as mine. Um, I know people like mobile game, computer strength. Oh, I misclicked. <laughs> No, I, buy, I know people are like mobile game, what, computer specs, that shouldn't matter, but they actually do. <laughs> so let's keep that in mind. If you're ever wondering why I load so fast, it's a combination that I do have like roughly 180 ping. I do use a VPN, so normally I have 160 to 170. Combined with a really strong computer can give a pretty decent load but it's nowhere near the top end, like if you compare it to any Japanese or West Coast player. So it's giving you guys a heads up on that. Nextly, as you may notice in the bottom right corner, I my crew is actually recruiting. Um, we're changing the way we're playing GW. A lot of us are running into real life situations being an issue, as in we just don't have the time, mainly when it comes to morning rush. Uh, if you don't know what morning rush is, Morning rush is a is the first hour within a round where you focus on gaining as many honors as quickly as possible to give momentum to your crew. Usually this momentum does lead to a victory because you know 
if you're in the lead early on, it makes the crew usually more, um, I guess, more happy. I, I, I just, it's, it's a mode. It's a motivational boost, right? That you can you can outspeed the other crew. So um, we're dropping that because a lot of our players can't just do it, myself included. Um, it conflicts with my school. I have classes that the time the round starts. So <laughs> I actually can't just do it at all on certain days, which is very unfortunate, but it is what it is. So because a lot of us, like, we don't want to disband. So we're going to change the um, the way we play GW. So we are recruiting a couple of members. Um, ideally, though, we're still looking for very strong people. So if you know what my pool looks like, we're looking for people who like similar level, maybe a little bit lower coverage in each LE as well, because we don't want to keep recruiting people every freaking GW. That's not very fun, um, especially after we get to, like near the top end. You do have a very high, um, a very high uh, turnover account. Um, it's really hard to keep players at the high end due to the. Um, the amount of grind required for this game, unfortunately, it's not something that's great, but it's the thing we have to worry about. I actually have no plans on what weapon to get here. I'm gonna get a splendid weapon though. Let me see. I think I'm gonna make a splendid weapon because I haven't made one in a while. Let me see here. I should have planned this out before I got here, but uh, I think dagger is the one I want. Yeah, I think dagger's kind of dope. I'm gonna get dagger. Okay. So yeah, I'm still finishing out the splendor weapons. I, I could have done this a while ago, but it's just splendor. It's a lot of grind that I don't feel like doing. <laughs> so that's a big deal. So we're gonna get dagger. We're gonna have a lot of daggers. Oh god. I don't know how many boxes I have, but I think roughly 200 around there. -ish. So that's gonna be fun. And I believe we have to go through this menu again. So we do this. Now, do correct me if I'm wrong on the process here of opening boxes. But like, I think that's wrong. Like you can see right there, that was not the ideal reset. Cause I got another window. Like see this window here? You don't want this. So I believe it's, hmm. I think it's right here you hit back. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, it, it, <laughs> I'm definitely not the best at opening boxes, especially fast. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a much faster way of doing it, um, but I haven't really looked into it too hard. So if you, if you guys know more than me, show me a video of it, because, <laughs> oops. No, I misclicked, misclicked, no! And it fucks up everything. You misclick one time, the game just loves punishing you in this game. I swear. But I think I got it right this time. Nope, see look. Ah, uh, the struggle, man. The last run on GW is too hard. I think I got it right this time though. Let me see. Oh, I don't want this. I think a token and then hit this. Ah, oh, what the hell, dude? What page was it? Did it do the full rotation? I think you gotta do a full rotation. I kind of forget, but you want the reset to be here. Okay, I think it's here. Okay, well, there we go. But yeah, okay. So yeah, if you're looking for a crew, if you can fit the requirements of looking to change, feel free. We're not doing morning rest. We're not doing point control. Um, reason for no point control is simply because people won't be playing at the start anymore. So people don't want to just come in and be like, oh, we're point controlled now, so we can't really move. <laughs> like that's like very annoying. Like imagine getting off work, you're looking, get ready to play some GW, and be like, oh, sorry, no more grinding. <laughs> so that's gonna be a thing. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. I haven't done a, this type of GW in almost ever. So it'll be a first time for me. Um, I don't expect to go 4-0, but I'm okay with that. Um, I don't think it matters too much. Only 10 Valor. I've been going 4-0 for so long over the last six years that it's like whatever. It's, it's not it's just not something that is like my priority. Uh, if I go 4-0, don't 
dope. But if I don't, it's not the end of the world. I've done it so many times anyway. Especially because most of my GW experience now is me buying a blue merit and a sunstone. So that's like every GW now, just buy one blue merit, one sunstone. Um, I assume most players, if you've been playing this game for a while, are done with the evil lights. I can imagine though, if you're a newer player, that you're stuck between a rock and a hard place where you can't decide on either the evil light, the blue merit, or the um, the evil light, blue merit, or the sunstone. Um, personally, I think that's a hard choice. I would probably just avoid the blue merit, as crazy as that sounds. Um, the blue merits are permanent stocks, so I think you can pick up multiple if you combine that with Dread Barrage. Um, I would only pick up blue merits for the really strong Eternals, like, you, you, you guys know, like the really strong ones, like uh, Six, <laughs> Neo, really. Um, Siete, like, not really. Um, I don't even use them for SU Baja no more, so not really something I recommend to people. Um, I don't think Song is that great either. If you want to do like an easy SU Baja solo, maybe, but I think you could do it without her. I think th the runs have been done without her, but it's rather close. So keep that in mind. Then you also have uh, Sarasa is another one, maybe. I don't think she gains much on 150, at least of what I've been told. I don't have her, so I can't talk from personal experience. The last three I do have, so I can tell you from personal experience. Neo is okay, but I feel like Neo losing her value, unfortunately. Um, she's really good for now SU Baja, but outside SU Baja, I use Anella for pretty much everything. Mainly because the damage has went up in the game. So. Neo is like really good when you don't cap. Anilla is really good when you do cap. So because our grids are getting stronger, Neo's value is going down. Anilla's value is going up. So keep that in mind as as you get Neo, that she's still comparable to Summer Anilla. It's not like she just completely replaces Summer Anilla. You do need both. And for CFD. Uh, I almost don't use them anymore. I only really use them if I know the run's gonna be like kind of weird. Like, you know, you know, it runs like where you don't really trust your teammates. <laughs> like you, you, you don't think they're gonna clear omens at all. So for those type of runs, CFA is good. But for majority of runs, I wouldn't use CFA. So, and that's also cause I use them with Akumi. So it's what it is. I haven't attempted any SU Baja solos recently like at all until I pull bubs. That's like out of the question for me. So if you ever expect me to do like, how's my win progress going? I'm I'm not even attempting them. It's too much of a damage loss, not having the 40% defense down from bubs. Um, it does, if you didn't know, the defense down does stack, especially in, in um, SU Baja based on how much attack, uh, uh, depending on how much defense the um, bot has the uh, what's it called the tenant so the, if you're at 10 tenants I believe it goes up to 200% defense down you're looking for so the 40% from bubs is really really crucial um, I do have enough to share ticket him people have been asking me why didn't I share ticket him during light GW it's more of a principle thing I don't want to zero ticket a carrot uh, summon Especially when I'm not going to be playing the game that much. And I just don't want to spend 150 on something and then end up pulling it later. That just sounds awful to me. I've seen it happen too often. And to put myself in that predicament, it's just not something I'm looking forward to. So I'd rather just take the L, deal with the fact I don't got bubs. And, you know, if I can do it, I don't got bubs. So, I mean, that means anyone can do it, right? That's pretty much my logic now. I don't got it. Um, it is a very crucial summon. Don't let anyone tell you that it's not crucial. It's very, very crucial. I've been suffering without it. Um, I think in terms of long content, it's maybe not that bad, but in short content, oh, it's real bad. <laughs> it's beyond awful. <laughs> and unfortunately, short content makes up 90% of this game. So it's kind of very, very hard. 
to manage. Um, God, I still have 1.5 million to go. Holy hell, dude. Did that box 150? Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, not 150, a box, no, right, right? Like a 150 to go? Am I crazy? Oh, this is awful. <laughs> I wouldn't wish this upon my worst enemy. <laughs> Oh, uh, maybe not box 150. Maybe it's like box like 200, 200, I think. 250, 200, two something. Jesus Christ. I, um, another thing I do have to mention is that, <gasps> I'll put the feed these, to my, I'll put the feed these to my, my box, to my, uh, <laughs> I'll put the feed these. Oh, no. I think these is fair. I'm about to feed these. I forgot. Oops. See, this is another thing that bothers me. Why can't you just feed things like the, the grails to your um? Why can't you just feed grails to your your stuff? Why did it gotta be so complicated, huh? What if I wanna? What if I just wanna feed my grail to my my grail to my my ship? Ah, sucks, man. I went through a hundred boxes and I didn't, I forgot, dude. <sighs> so my wind ship is actually not maxed on my alt, which is the point of me doing this as well. But I ended up forgetting. Oh, brother, dude. Oh, this is actually awful. This couldn't be any worse, man. It really couldn't be. Oh, well. At least we're halfway done. So I still have the opportunity to level up majority of my ship. Um, it's max, it's the level before max. So it should be max from this, but I would, I would have liked to do this ship and my light and dark to my, I think my dark is level seven and my lights level five. So the goal would have been to at least max them all out. Um, I am very disappointed in myself for not noticing that, but to be fair, it's like 2 a.m. <laughs> I couldn't sleep, so I was like, you know what? Let's just record a video and do get this done, get it out of my way. Um, that's the game plan, but whatever. Mistakes are made. It is what it is. We'll live. It's a blessing and a curse because, you know, I get to save a lot of time in terms of the farming aspect so but the curse is that you know i did lose a lot a lot which is very unfortunate though i guess grails aren't bad i, I don't have that many if you, as you can tell i have like 1000 so i i'm not the biggest grinder anymore like that so especially when it comes to events as i mentioned earlier so a lot of these grails and stuff i'm not like so people have like 3k 4k yeah because all you do is ground every event like 200 bucks i don't do that why would i do that been there done that i did that when i was like new to the game not anymore i'm too old i feel like the longer you play this game the harder it is to like want to grind for hours on end it's i find it very very hard when i would when i was like more new to the game though it was much easier but now I just can't. I, I feel like I lose my sanity. The longer I play, I feel like I lose my sanity for sure. Oh, miss. Ah. Oh, by the way, did anyone get a sunstone? I've never gotten a sunstone from this event. You know, it's cool, you know, that the game don't like me. But I've been seeing people, people are getting like two sunstones by now. Some people on their third. I can't even get one. Can I get can I get a sunstone? I, I don't I don't know the quali uh, the um, requirements to get one, but can can, can they throw me a bone? Matter of fact, don't give me a sunstone, give me bubs. I'll t I don't even want the sunstone anymore. I'll take a bubs. It is what it is, but I'll take a bubs for sure. Like I I, I want the summon. I just don't want to spend 150 gold moons for it. Cause I, I was thinking about getting a sky piercer for wind. Uh, 
it's some stuff I wanted to try in Bahamut high level with the Skypiercer. Because currently the, the problem with wind is that you Ogi turn one. But if you chain Uriel, um, it's the worst feeling ever. It makes me like hate every Earth player, to be honest. <laughs> every time I chain that bonus damage summon, I hate them all. <laughs> I feel so bad. Because it's not their fault, but it is their fault. Because it ends up giving Korra and Anella charge bar. And it feels completely awful. It makes me want to like ban Earth. <laughs> <laughs> banner from Bahamut high level so I thought of like let me try doing a sky piercer like burst setup with it but I haven't got around to it yet that and I, I think I require buffs for doing it too because the sky piercer is really good main hand but you're gonna I'm gonna need buffs for sure so I don't have what's needed for it yet but maybe in the future is this something I've been speculating I just haven't got around to it yet unfortunately this video has been 20 minutes. I've been doing this for 20 minutes. I feel bad, dude. <laughs> I feel so bad. I'm not even close to done. <laughs> oh, brother. Yeah. I really don't recommend this to anyone. I know a lot of people were doing their first top 2K. And even just the top 2K is kind of ridiculous. So I got top. 80 last water GW, which was April of 2021. And I believe for top 80, it was around 5 billion, somewhere around there, like 5.7 billion. I was, um, but now that same score is barely top 2k. Like this, the top 100 was over what 11 billion. It's so ridiculous how high these scores are going. I be, I believe last GW like um with like the same thing almost. I think nine billion or almost ten billion was top a hundred. So these scores are just getting out of control. It doesn't help we have the meat inflation too from the uh, EX plus. That's not helping anything. I don't know what their approach gonna be coming next GW. We do have a new rotation where the GW boss will be Earth, but this will be the first of an like. So normally we consider rotations like the boss cycle. So for example, the last boss cycle was the um, the uh, Mammoth series where you got Mammoth, uh, Red Hair, you know Artemis, Zornia, whatever the fuck her name is. So it's usually those type of enemies, right? And the, we had the last one with the last GW. So this coming GW will have a different series. Um, normally when that happens, they tend to increase the health of the EX plus. So people are predicting to be 23 million. Personally, I feel like 23 million is still not high enough. I would like it to be 25 because of how much power <laughs> bubs, because of how much power creep we've gotten in the last year bubs. Um, I feel that EX Plus dies too fast via bubs. So I, I'm hoping that they end up increasing it dramatically instead of the 1 million because of bubs. So that's what I really hope they do because bubs are they give all bubs for free to everybody. <laughs> we, I'm so mad. I hope we have Summer Fortune again because I really want to pity tier 3 bubs. <laughs> Please, man. I feel like ever since the summer fortune happened, the the amount of freebies we've been getting in Grand Blue is actually lower this year than the previous years. Which is like we didn't even get the um the scratch off tickets, I believe. So we got that for the sixth anniversary and the seventh, but we didn't get it for the eighth. And I think it's solely because of the backlash they got from the summer fortune. Which is very, very unfortunate because it was a really, personally, I think it was a very good event for everybody. Keep in mind, I'm very biased. I got the 100k crystals. <laughs> Let's keep that in mind. Let, let me not forget, I did get lucky. But I think 99% of people, just from the tier 3 freebie alone, went and got something decent. So, personally, I think I thought it was overall good. But I do feel 
I, I know the inequality, the um, it was not very fair. <laughs> Uh, but the backlash was just so high that I don't think we're ever going to have any type of freebies on those levels again. And it kind of hurts in a way because, you know, uh, the power creep is so high. These PNS weapons coming out, um, they're too much. Now, every time, every brand, I got to worry about double sparking it, triple sparking it. Who wants to do that? <laughs> Because their weapons are so strong, it's not even they're not even comparable to anything else in the in like weapon wise. They're not even close to comparable. So it's it's really bad, and it's not just a ma uh, primal weapon either. So it's a magna weapon, and now people are mad because people are using the grid and magna, like the harps or the axes and magna and calling it magna which technically is still magna i think one thing in this game people forget is just because it's magna doesn't necessarily mean it's free to play i think people automatically assume with the word magna it's free to play but that's really not what magna is magna just means that your main summon is magna um that's what i always classify it as um now we're running into the problem with bub's main with that's a little bit more debatable because uh, your main summon's not magna it's like bub's main then a magna summon that's a little bit dicey i don't know if i would classify that as magna because you can't really get the summon easily so i don't know and there's no like there's no replacement for the summon either right it's not like oh if you don't have this summon just run the magna one you'd be fine that's not really an option right so i don't know if i consider bub's magna still However, I will say that having weapons in the grid like PNS and harp, uh, the harp harmoni, harmonica, whatever what it's called, I forgot the name of it. Um, having weapons like that in the grid still counts as magna. It's just not free to play magna like most people automatically assume. Um, we're coming to the end here. I got a couple more boxes to go, one last box. So that's pretty cool. Um, if you have any questions for me, just leave them in the comments. I, my cat is killing my freaking monitor. Oh my God. This is the worst, man. Oh, but yeah, if you have any questions for me, just leave it in the comments. Uh, I haven't done a video like this, like ever. <laughs> Normally I don't really play this much GW, so I thought it was something different. So I'll give it a try. But hopefully you enjoyed it. If you stayed throughout the whole thing, you're crazy watching a man freaking open box for like 30 minutes you're actually insane but coming to the end right now i wonder how fast the jp can do it i feel like they're doing it 15 minutes <laughs> 10 minutes not even fair man it's not even fair how they get to play the game like this i'm here struggling but they get to play the game on easy mode it is what it is but that's the end of that thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time later